hello everyone welcome to my channel if you have not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and today's topic is about are you using retain for ordering variables if so be careful now what really retain statement does is whenever you create a variable by input statement or by assignment statement it retains its value from one iteration of data step to the next i have made a very detailed video on the retain statement link for the same i will give in the description below here i'm not going to talk about any concepts but i wanted to show you more of what happens if you use retain statement for ordering variables where things can go wrong now to do all of this let's first create a data set and then we can discuss on this in here i'm creating a data set and in here i have two variables age and name now with this data set we can create many more data sets and we can use our logics there in here in the next data step i am saying if age is less than equal to 20 create another data set for me if i run this what really happens is i have again two variables and then the age is our first variable name is our second variable as we have seen in here and our results are according to our if logic now what happens is if you want to change the order of the variables sometimes what some programmers do is they use a retain statement above the set statement like this and then they give name age so what will this do is this will change the order of the variables and the name will be the first variable and age will be the second variable everything is same i am just using a retain statement on the top of set statement and then changing the order of variables and then let's quickly run this once i run this you can see order of our variables has changed but our data is exactly what we have seen previously so this has worked absolutely fine for this particular scenario now what i would like to show is where, now let us discuss about an example where things can go wrong in here i am having another logic wherein what i am saying is i want to create a new variable and then i am saying that variable as new var and then if age equal to 10 then new var equal to 10 and then let us quickly run this code and see our result once we run this code you can see that our result is exactly as we expected with the new variable new var having the value of 10 when age equal to 10 and in here you can also see that our variable order is age name and new var now let us quickly go to our code and let's try to change the order of variables instead of age name and new var now what we want is we want to have the order in as name as a first variable age as a second variable and new var as third variable now if i use a retain statement to do this wherein i am saying retain name age new var everything same as the previous data step only what i am doing is i am using a retain statement and using all the three variables in the retain statement now if i run this let us see what will happen to our results in the result you can see that our new var value has been retained and new var has a value of 10 for all the observations even though our logic says if age equal to 10 what has happened is all the observations have the value of 10 because the value is retained now let us quickly go back to our code here even though we have said if age equal to 10 then new var equal to 10 what i was really expecting that this value of 10 for new var will be there for only first observations but for not all the three observations now this result is inaccurate and this is what i really did not expect so when i have used retain and then i am also using a new variable whose value i am creating in this assignment statement v 
have the problem of that value getting retained even though we do not want that value to get retained like what we have seen in here so we have to be extra careful with this that's all for this topic if you like this topic please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe thank you